guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. We're playing some more No Man's Sky. I appreciate you joining the journey today. I am Durgils. If this is your first time finding my channel, I hope you enjoy your stay today. I hope you consider subscribing at some point during the video. I'd love to have you along. All right, last video was a little rough, but we got through it. Had a little trouble navigating to like my next quest marker and getting the cadmium, but hey, it was successful. But here we're at the space station. We need to purchase some wiring looms. Uh, I have an exosuit upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So yeah, it gives us another slot here. And we're just going to upgrade. What is all that noise, man? I hear a lot of noise happening. I don't know. There's like no aliens over here. They're all on this side. They're all on the cool side of the space station. So we're still in third person. Uh, I wanted to go back to third person after I've been doing first person for so long just to see if I truly enjoyed first person more. And I think I do. Um, we are still in third person. I'm going to give it another video just to see. So here we are. We need three wiring looms. And uh, hopefully, I mean, there should be three in here, right? Now, I've never seen some of these things. Some of this stuff here, I've never seen autonomous positioning unit, decommissioned circuits, welding soap. Okay. I haven't seen some of these. Well, here's our wiring loom. We need three. And there we go. Pretty expensive, man. All right, so we got that. So construct the mind arc, gather components. Uh, we need to refine glass. I did talk to all these aliens. Well, a lot of these aliens uh, before I started this video. Well, maybe I didn't talk to as many as I thought. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back. Talking to the aliens is something I want to try to do like off camera. All right, so here's something I want to try. Hey, you guys have been telling me about this uh, exosuit upgrade, and it is the personal refiner. I haven't installed this all the way yet, so we need chromatic metal. So we're going to head back to the base. So actually, let me go to the portal up here, and we can just port back to the base because I think I have chroma chromatic metal there. Even if I don't, I have my refiner there, so I can refine and uh, get some chromatic metal. All right, we're back. So basically, this is a perfect situation. Like in the next in the next step, I need to refine glass. So if I had the personal refiner, I wouldn't have to come back to the base to refine glass. Is that correct? Do I have that correct? So let's see if we have any chromatic metal in here. Well, wouldn't you know, all out of chromatic metal. All right, so we need copper basically for chromatic metal, right? We need a lot of copper. Do we have copper? Maybe we have copper. Let me look around here. All right, fresh out of copper too. Let's check uh, the starship. Let's see if we have any there. Uh, gold, ion battery. Yeah, no, no copper. All right, we gotta find copper. Yo, what is that? I don't remember seeing that thing. Look at that. It looks like a crab slash octopus slash scorpion. It's the best way I could describe it. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we got a copper deposit somewhere close. Look at that. First thing, first thing I tagged was the copper deposit. All right, here we are. Wait, wait, wait. this is one I've already done. Why would it show that there's still a copper deposit here? Because there's like one piece of copper, like right there. Is that why it shows it? <laughs> Is it that I missed like one piece and it's like, oh, there's a whole copper deposit here. Okay, so let's keep looking. There's one right there. Yo, what is this? We're gonna go check that out because I don't I don't know what that is. It looked like a medical 
the what is this? Excuse me, buddy. Oh, it's just some just some goodies. Oh, because of that. Yeah, because of that. That's why it's a health thing. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, copper deposits right back here. Hopefully, this isn't another one that I've already dug out. Because apparently, it shows you those. Where's this one at? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Sweet. I need to learn. I need to, like, figure out how to make this, this circle. Like, hold on. Let me see if I can figure this out. All right, now I figured it out. Now I figured it out. I've got my uh, a terrain manipulator beam, the smallest it can be, so I can get the most copper. I think I had to figure that out on the keyboard last time because I couldn't figure it out with the controller. So glad I got that done. All right, well let me get all I can from here, and then we will go refine it to some chromatic metal. All right, we got all the copper. We got 646 copper from that one deposit. But that is more than enough copper. So, yeah, let's go back to the base. And let's do some refining. Here we go. So we've got fuel. Uh, we're out of fuel. So let's fill that up and let's get our copper. Where's the copper at? Let's see. Here we go. All right, let's begin this. Let that process. That's going to take a little while. All right, let's check on our portable refiner. And it looks like we are done here. Let's put this copper in here. All right, cool. So now we can go here to our exosuit and install technology. Let's see. Yeah, personal refiner installed. All right, cool. So now I haven't used it yet. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we just go to it here and we hit use refiner. Somebody told me it didn't require fuel. That seems to be incorrect. Or maybe I just misread. I don't know. We need to do silicate powder. And get that going. Because we need that glass. That's going to take a while. All right. So that could be working. We got a little backpack smoking and everything. All right, cool. We have some suspicious packets here. We're going to open these and see what's in there. I have no idea what's in there. It didn't show me. What is this? Defense chit. A token entitling the bearer to support from the system authorities in dealing with pirate attacks. Basically, I get 10,000 units for that. I don't know what else it gave me. I didn't see what happened. All right, so I'm going to stop processing because... Here, let's put this back in here. Let's take the glass that we have. Oh, we have the glass. Okay, that's plenty of glass. All right, so craft mind art for Artemis. We go here... Mind arc. What do we do with it now? All right. So a simple mind arc components is complete. Now we have quest marker that's come up here. And we need to go to the terminus. So let's go get in the ship. Hey, you know, at least my ship didn't park inside the base this time. So that's cool. Somebody said I need a, I need to like do like a landing pad and I will. I, I think I'm really going to get into the base building. Like once I get a lot of this main quest done. All right. Well, I need some fuel, which I don't have. 
but I think here I have metal plating. Yeah. And I have hydrogen. That's what we need, right? Yeah, there's some fuel. fuel to... Wait, what am, what am I doing here? I need more metal plating. Let me see if I can... I want to I want to create like a stack of fuel, man. Looks like they did a little up update. Am I wrong? Cuz the menu looks a little different. Let's see how many of these we can create. There's 18. So, we should be able to craft more of these. I don't know how many. All right, we need more hydrogen to craft more. That's cool though. We can just uh, put one of those up there and we're good to go. Well, speaking of more hydrogen. Oh, that's the bolt caster. Here we go. Yeah, we'll just have to pick up hydrogen when we see it. All right, let's go to this terminus, this hollow terminus, right here. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. I was trying to tag it, because it's also square to tag it, but I, I don't need to tag it, because it's already marked it for me, so I'm a dumb dumb. All right, let's go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Damage machinery back there. All right, this wasn't far, so I feel like we've been here already. We're going to find out. Some nanites. All right, let's go around to the side and go in. Navigation data. Ninety nanites there. Research specimen. Standing, in standing increased Corvax. Check stock transfer. Yeah, okay. Give me them units. Is that it? Is there anything else in here? We gotta do our little scan. Oh, there's some salvage data right there. It was already there. Okay, let's just go down and get it. Boom. Sweet. Let's run over here real quick. We're some damage machinery back that way, I think. Like once after we do the hollow terminus, maybe I'll do it. So I have not been here. I thought I had. It's so close to base. I'm a little surprised I haven't been here. All right. Let's go up. Get some life support when I get up here. All right, life support systems. There we go. All right, let's, uh, we can find Artemis. Tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune to Artemis. There we 
There he is. It's been a while. How's it going, buddy? Comfort. Artemis. Use mind art. There we go. Activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury. Some catharsis. Catharsis. Where Artemis emerges in the flesh. Restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram. And the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal still active. Oh, there's Null. Oh, what's happening? Talk to Null. Travelers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too. But they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. The closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deeper secret of the universe is not of the glass or the Aronos, Aarons, a a is that how you say it? Aarons, or the progenitors, <laughs> progenitors. <laughs> I don't know how to say this stuff. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you're finished. We have much to discuss. All right. Where's that damaged machinery? Oh, there it is. All right. Some more hydrogen, too, we can get. Uh, more nanites. Pick all this up. Because we can create some more fuel now, I believe. We go in. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to keep getting hydrogen when we see it. Do a little scanny scan around here. Ah, look. There we go. Salvage data. Hey, there's my little buddy. I mean, it's not my pet, but it's one like him. It's not the pet that I had. Look at this thing. I don't even remember scanning this thing. Oh, they're all over the place. This must be y'all's home or something. Let's get in and then let's take a look at our log here. Seek help for Artemis. Answers may be found in the stars. So, basically, if we get into space here, we might get a communication. I'm hoping that's the situation. Bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the mind art. Let's see. So, we gotta go see Nada. All right, so let's uh, summon the anomaly. Let's go. All right, I still need to do these, man. I still need to try, like, getting missions from here one weekend. Maybe that's something I'll do on one of the live streams. This, this video, I'm actually recording this on Saturday. This video is going to go up on Monday so who knows if I do the live stream if I did the live stream on Sunday I may have tried it out 
All right, Nada. What's up? Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Wait, what? Not as visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Re I'm going to reveal the mind arc. Tell not about Artemis, about Noel, and about the mind arc. It glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. This Artemis Echo is pain disconnected. This arc is no rescue. Uh, ask for help. Echo will never have body again. Will never explore again. Old life gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living, a refuge. There's a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine. To sub simulation where they may live on. Or help Artemis Echo in suffering. Wait, what? Okay. So I can upload Artemis Echo to the machine to sub-simulation where they may live. So I can help them. Or I can end the search for Artemis right now. Is that what it's saying? Let's ask about the simulation. Ask what life would be like inside of the simulation. Not a pauses for a moment staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to machine to sub-simulation. Okay. Um... I'm not a person that's going to make a decision for somebody. I'm not going to project how I think that people, that person would feel, right? So I'm inclined to help, but I'm going to ask if there's another way. Nada shakes her head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated if disconcerting. Concerning. You must choose. Okay. Uh... I'm going to say I've decided. Go and speak with Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I'm proud of your compassion. You are Traveler friend. All right, Polo. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Alright. Decide Artemis fate at Nada's private terminal. Oh, it's this thing back here. Alright. Machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a world long since destroyed, the craft is extraordinary, is clearly tended to often and with great love. Feel a whisper, not a faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on panel unscramble themselves. Not an entity authorization detected. The relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. Single false solar system so dear to Nada. It will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. All right, uh, I'm gonna upload Artemis. I want to continue this. I want to. I want to find Artemis. I'm too invested into finding Artemis just to allow him to die at this point. It's just how I'm viewing it. I upload Artemis to the simulation. Spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. 
Not it tells me that it's done for my sake. They will permit transmissions to and from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow, adjust to their new life. Speak with Nada and Polo if you wish to return to space when ready to continue change active missions in the logs. All right, let's look at our primary missions. Return to space and contact Apollo is our next step. Still need to do the Atlas path and uh, the space anomaly. So we're still doing the first traveler. I'm enjoying this one. So we're going to do this one uh, as we keep going. But that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate all the support you guys give me on these videos. Still really enjoying the game. Can't wait to continue on. So make sure you hit that like button as it really supports the channel. And subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.